everyone my name is Odette welcome to another edition of cooking with Odette today I'm going to be cooking ekwang ekwang is one of the delicious meat eaten in Cameroon especially by the Bakore people of the southwest region of Cameroon let's go over our ingredients I have palm oil that's about a cup of palm oil my smoked fish three habanero pepper that's optional a cup of crayfish that's about three tablespoons of blended garlic and ginger, three bouillon cube, a teaspoon of salt, green onions, that's optional, my cocoa yams as it is called in Cameroon, and label as malanga cocoa yams. My leaves, you can use any green vegetable with large leaves, but today I'm going with collard greens. In Cameroon, we use cocoa yams leaves or bitter leaves. But I go with collard greens because cocoa yams is a luxury for me here. The cocoa yams. After peeling, you wash the cocoa yams. That's what you do. You peel your cocoa yams and then wash the cocoa yams. What I like to do is just pour boiled water over my leaves. That just to wither it to make the leaves softer. You give your leaf a better texture, like the cocoa yam leaves we use in Cameroon. But I like. To wither it a little bit. When your cocoa yam is washed, what you do is just grate your cocoa yams. You can use this grater. In my case, I use my juice extractor. That was so easy for me because I had a lot to make, so I didn't want to go over this. So I use my juice processor. It's not going to be as fine as you use the grater, but that's okay. This is how your cocoa yams will come out. At, wow, look at that. So I just put some salt and mix mix properly ekwang is one of the favorite meal in our house my daughter loves ekwang that's why I am cooking in a large quantity she can't get enough of it she can eat ekwang for lunch dinner or breakfast it doesn't matter what I'm doing now is using my pastry brush to brush the pot this to avoid the ekwang to be sticky in the pot or burn yeah you just do that in Cameroon you use your hands or you can use your spoon but the pastry brush makes it very easy here go the fun part Ekwang is grated cocoa yam wrapped in any green vegetables with large leaves that's what I'm doing in my case I have my colored greens you see what the boil water did on the leaves it makes it very nice and soft just like the cocoa yam leaves we have in Cameroon we have to wrap it properly this is a one pot meal where everything is mixed and cooked together. When you put on the stove, you just let it cook and stir every now and then until the meal is ready. It's very easy to make even though it's time consuming through the process, but it's good. Done rubbing my egg one. Go ahead and put in my country onions. That's called African non milk. The country onion gives a good flavor to the egg one. My blended garlic and ginger. My salt. This is what I like about ekwang. You just put everything together and let it cook. When the pepper is done, I will just strain it out of the ekwang because my girls are going to be eating the ekwang too. My crayfish. My oil. Yeah, you need that much oil. Mm -hmm. My crunch bouillon cube my meat and boil water I will go ahead and add the fish later because the fish is cooked after the ekwang is cooked for about an hour I just go ahead and take out my pepper actually that's for five minutes take out my pepper yes you don't want to deprive your chai favorite meal so I just use my wooden spoon just there on the side that's just to make sure it stay intact you don't want the eggplant to be too dry and you don't want it to be too soupy I might add a little bit of water is done this mouth licking delicacy is not an everyday meal 
it takes time to cook but it's worth every second because it tastes so good it's delicious let me taste it let me taste it hmm. it smells good it tastes delicious the country onions gives the flavor i was looking for thanks for watching please if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe Put a comment and a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks. Bye.